The moment MAGA Republicans have been talking about incessantly, they wanted to depose Hunter Biden, take Hunter Biden's deposition, but get this, MAGA Republican James Comer, the one who's been going on all of right-wing media, talking about all of these conspiracy theories and laundering Russian disinformation and disinformation from spies from China, when James Comer was in the room and Hunter Biden showed up, guess what? James Comer did not ask a question. And then James Comer just left the, the deposition room, didn't ask Hunter a single question. Watch the reaction by Steve Ducey from Fox, who was like, what? You just left the room? Here, play this clip. Yeah. You know the yeah. odd thing, speaking of Republicans, you know, James Comer, who ran that committee, mm -hmm. uh, he apparently left the hearing early and did not ask a single question. Huh. How weird is that? It's very strange. He's been calling for him to come in. Hey, Hunt, we want Hunter Biden. He didn't ask him a single question. Well, Brian's going to ask questions to Mark Levin, mm -hmm. and he will answer them. That's coming up on the show. But right. Uh, and by the way, here's the reaction from far right wing MAGA Republican Andy Biggs, who says, you know, that deposition transcript of Hunter Biden's probably going to read really well because Hunter was very well prepared for the deposition. Play this clip. So I think when the transcript mm. comes out, it's going to read. It's going to read well for him because they did a great job prepping for a read. But that's. Oh, but, interesting. but the reality is, yeah, yeah. But when it, when you get down to it and you start parsing the words, you start realizing, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's very interesting. Well, so y'all remember when James Comer would be doing all this right wing media shows and spreading all of these lies? Why wouldn't you ask a question, James Comer? Like at the most basic level, you had your shot. You had your opportunity. Did you not think Hunter was going to show up? Are you scared of Hunter Biden, James Comer? I know that your dear leader, Donald Trump, is too scared to show up and testify. But Hunter showed up, stared you right in the eyes, and you ran out of the room like a coward. Play this clip of James Comer when he would spread all of his nonsense about Hunter. Play the clip. Claims. What is the whistleblower saying specifically? Well, as you know, Maria, Senator Grassley and I have reviewed a legally protected and highly credible whistleblower document, which alleges that there was an exchange of money for policy decisions made by then Vice President Joe Biden. We uh, have determined the whistleblower is extremely credible. And based on the bank records that I've been getting and you and I have been talking about on your show for weeks now, and based on the fact that nine different Biden family members have been receiving payments from a web of LLCs that are receiving payments from my adversaries around the world. This fits a pattern of uh, questionable behavior that the Biden family members have been doing to receive funds. So uh, we take this whistleblower claim very seriously. We know it exists. We know the FBI has the document. As Senator Grassley said, it is not classified. So we want that document in our possession. And we also want to know what the FBI did to verify the claim of the whistleblower. Here's another clip of James Comer right here. Remember saying that the uh, Russian spy was actually not the big part of his case. Play this clip. End of the day, uh, with, with respect to the FBI informant that Christopher Ray told, Jamie, you're asking me, Charles Grassley, Jim Jordan, was one of their most trusted, highest paid informants with the bureau for over a decade you know yep. the, the at the at the end of the day he wasn't an important part of this investigation because i didn't even know who he was all i knew was there was a 1023 that alleged bribery my investigations about all the money the bidens have taken from china from romania from for nothing, uh, Kazakhstan, for no, for from nothing Russia, in for nothing, return for, for nothing. nothing this guy in had absolutely nothing yeah, to do with it crazy. we got a tip we investigate we couldn't figure out who it was Sharon. One more clip here of James Comer. What we've said over and over and over, Joe Biden took $200,000 directly from AmeriCorps Health. Do what? He was a private citizen at the time of the $200,000 check. Was he not? The four hundred, the forty thousand dollars. So it's okay. So so so. Do you have a problem that Joe Biden's lied about this? Do you have a problem that that AmeriCorps Health hooked investors? I'm asking you, what specific action did he take as a public official, an elected public official? Well, with the yeah, with the with the with the. Yeah, okay. Hey, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. 
All the angry liberals that watch your say, they'll, they'll be all right. Okay. All right. Prize picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. And now I can play during basketball season too. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. With basketball season here, you can now pick combo projections across football and basketball from the Specials League, a league created specifically for combo projections that include two or more players from different sports or leagues. That's pretty cool. For example, LeBron James and Travis Kelsey at a 10.5 combo of three points made plus receptions. That's fun. Prize Picks even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. That's great. For football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Testing my skills on Prize Picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Prize Picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Each week since the start of football season, I've had an absolute blast putting my skills to the test and competing in not just football, but all the daily fantasy sports prize picks has to offer. It truly is such a blast putting my skills to the test. Go to prizepicks.com slash Midas and use code Midas for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash Midas, M-E-I-D-A-S, and use code Midas for a first deposit match up to $100. Daily Fantasy Sports made easy. Going back to Fox for a moment, this is Jessica Tarlov on The Five, and here's what she had to say. And again, her, you know, the other panelists there just saying a bunch of, bunch of nonsense. At the end of the day, let's just keep this simple. James Comer, who y'all have been platforming on right-wing media, ran out of the room. Hunter went into the room. Here, play this clip. And when we talk about this impeachment inquiry, which is obviously a catastrophic disaster for Jim Comer and company, you guys say, well, we need to know if Joe Biden is dirty, right? I don't want to go on November 5th, show up and say, well, is this the guy who's making millions of dollars off of China and... Uzbekistan, whatever, pulling diamonds out of his hair, whatever you're going to say. That's they shut down yeah. the laptop. Oh, right, the, the penis pictures that were going to decide America's future. And all the evil. The point is, yep. <laughs> don't we deserve to know if one of the nominees for president is a felon? That's what this case is about. And Jack... I've got one more clip I want to share with you of Jessica Tarlov. Here, play this clip. <laughs> so maybe I have 30 seconds. Um, I love days when... You guys think that you're describing Joe Biden, but you're actually describing Donald Trump. So the person who didn't want the American people to be able to speak in 2020 was Donald Trump. And he had his team of crackpot lawyers fan out across the country to bring frivolous lawsuits when there had been recount after recount to make sure that the American public was disenfranchised and that we wouldn't know how Georgia voted and we wouldn't know how Arizona voted. Then he called up people to put pressure on them to find him 11,000 plus votes in Georgia. We know he did it in Michigan. Ronna McDaniel helped him out with that. That is the threat to democracy, and that's what this case is about. And you remember when Donald Trump would give these speeches and say, where's Hunter, where's Hunter? Here, play this clip. You see uh, Hunter today, right? He went to the wrong place. He went to the Senate instead of the House. Everyone's saying, where's Hunter? See, it always gets, where's Hunter? What a, what a two-tier system of justice we have. I took on the communist China. Let me show you this other clip here of Trump. Play this one. Half years, and then they had the Mueller report, and it came in, no collusion, but I could have told them that on day one. And they would have known that on day one. They should have known it because they had the laptop from hell, so they should have known it. That was, you have to say, that was truly the laptop from hell, wasn't it? But see, here's the thing. I mean, I'll play you this clip right now of Alina Haba. Remember how she says, well, Donald Trump's not scared. He's going to show up and testify. But Trump doesn't play this clip. He is so firmly 
against what is happening in this court and so firmly for the old America that we know, not this America, that he will take that stand on Monday. He will open himself up to whatever they want because he's not afraid. People that are afraid cower. President Trump doesn't cower. We'll be back on Monday. You know who did show up to testify? Hunter Biden showed up to testify. He was ready to go. He testified, sat there, answered every question. You know how the MAGA Republicans used to attack Hillary Clinton? She showed up. She was there for 12 hours answering every single question. Hunter Biden wanted to do this in public. Biden was like, Hunter was like, let's go. Let's do this in public. And MAGA Republicans like, eh, let's do this in private. Let's keep this super secret so nobody sees it. But, you know, we got that transcript. We know James Comer ran out of the room. We know that Hunter Biden answered each and every question and made sure that he was diligent and detailed in those responses. Here's what Democratic Congress member Jared Moskowitz had to say. Play this clip. Thank you, Chairman Raskin. Uh, soon to be Chairman Raskin, very soon. Uh, <laughs> let me just say that I think my colleagues and I are witnessing the death of the fake, faux, frivolous Joe Biden uh, impeachment inquiry. In fact, as a Jewish American, when this is over, I will say mourners Kaddish for uh, this impeachment inquiry. There has been no evidence on Joe Biden from the beginning. There has been no evidence so far uh, in this deposition linking uh, Joe Biden is all. So as Jay-Z said, grand opening, grand closing. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, here's what Congress member Eric Swalwell had to say. Play the clip. But what's really embarrassing, and I use the word secondhand embarrassment because that's what we witnessed in there, is they're so desperate to humiliate the president that they started asking the president's son personal details about a divorce that happened almost 10 years ago. That's where this has been reduced to. And they're doing all this, by the way, when we're just days away from the government shutting down. We're critically, critically in need of funding for Ukraine, the humanitarian crisis over in the Middle East, and more security and a broader immigration plan in this country. They're wasting time, squandering an opportunity to do that because they've never accepted Joe Biden as the president. And now, in this last Hail Mary effort, they're going to try uh, and pull off something. I promise you, pass this prologue. It's not going to work. There you have it, folks. Let me know what you think. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Have a great day. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.